Today, I shall be giving you the long-awaited, long-term outcomes of the Target A trial, a clinical trial to test whether radiotherapy given only to the primary tumor is adequate enough for cancer control. Patients with breast cancer suitable for breast conserving surgery with tumors preferably less than 3.5 cm in size and unifocal on clinical examination and conventional imaging with mammography and ultrasound scan. They had to have invasive ductal carcinoma proven by needle biopsy. They were randomly allocated to receive either target IORT during lumpectomy immediately after lumpectomy or whole breast radiotherapy postoperatively. If, when randomized to have target IORT, they were found to have high risk factors postoperatively, they would have to have whole breast radiotherapy in addition. So you can see the tumor bed into which the applicator is going in and it radiates the tissues immediately around the primary tumor at highest risk of local recurrence. It happens in the operation theater between 20 to 40 minutes and it uh, follows the principle of precision and immediacy. In the process, the organs nearby such as the heart and the lungs are protected from unnecessary radiation. Acknowledgements are due to every patient who participated in the trial and all the staff and investigators who gave all their efforts to make this trial possible. I want to remind you of the randomization into risk-adapted target IORT versus standard conventional external beam whole breast radiotherapy. And we can see that the patient, tumor, and treatment factors were well matched in the two randomized arms of the trial. So for the patient, the surgery and radiotherapy gets completed at the same time. They've got good cosmetic outcome. They have very little pain and very little chance of a complication. So that's all very good. But the most important question for a breast cancer patient is, what is her chance of living without the cancer coming back? So that is the uh, first result, that non-inferiority in terms of local control was confirmed. At complete follow-up of five years in the local recurrence rates for target IRT was 2.11% and for EBRT was 0.95%. The difference was 1.16 with the upper confidence limit of 1.99%. What about the long-term outcomes? So this is a summary slide that shows all the important outcomes for long-term outcomes. The local recurrence-free survival is the same. Mastectomy-free survival is the same. Breast cancer mortality is the same. And there's a significant reduction in non-breast cancer mortality by up to 4% at 12 years. So the main conclusions of the targeted trial are compared with EBRT, risk-adapted target IORT given during lumpectomy achieves comparable cancer control outcomes in the long term. Secondly, it reduces non-breast cancer mortality as well. Target IORT has substantial advantages to the patient and the healthcare system. It's convenient, less painful, it has better cosmetic outcome and improved quality of life. It takes less time, less travel, and the cost is lower, both to the healthcare system as well as the patient. Eligible patients should be offered this one-stop treatment of target IORT during lumpectomy, and it should be discussed with them before they have the operation. Thank you very much. You can pause these slides to see the details of the background, rationale, and other important data related to the target IORT approach. The photographs from various teams around the world, UCL Surgical Interventional Trials Unit, the International Steering Committee and photos of the authors.